Today we're making crostata. Crostata is a traditional Italian um, jam-filled tart. It's just something that you want to make at home. And we're going to be making it from scratch. I love how she uses we, because I'm standing here. <laughs> But now she's going to show you. But I'm going to show you the ingredients, please. please. So we have all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. Then we have icing sugar, unsalted butter, salt, eggs, and this is jam, and it's apricot. Exactly. Ha. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh, this is Benny's friend. This is my friend, Vanilla Pod, but now it has no secrets. Here. Now, please go on with the procedures. The ingredients, the butter and the eggs are at room temperature. We're going to be using the mixer today just because it just cuts it just cuts the, the length of the recipe and it's if in case you do have I like to use you would use the, the flat the flat um, she looks at me as if I know the flat one. The flat one. This. Okay? Now, first thing you put the butter just all of it? You put all the butter. Of course, it's not just how much you like. I imagine. The recipe it will be in the description below. And icing sugar, okay? Why icing sugar? Because it dissolves easy. Better. Oh, and look, you know what we could do? You can separate. I need, Benny, please. Yes, what you need? 75 grams. <laughs> I just find it amusing, I'm sorry. Every time it's like 50 grams, so 70. 75 grams of egg yolks. And I'm just gonna have this start, okay? Yes. Egg um, yolks. Like you taught me. Oh, okay. Please. But I need the egg yolks to be weighed better. Oh. Not <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. The egg yolks. Okay, that's. And that is 75 grams, so approximately three to four eggs, because... But these are small, because these are, these are organic, the, the hens are still small. Okay. <gasps> Oops. Listen, this is nice, but I'll do it my way. It's... <laughs> the old fashioned way. Okay, so this is 58, so four eggs. A mess. I'm not a messy cook. No, well, I mean, it's nice if you put things like in here. Well, you didn't put the bowl out first. I. Benny, please take responsibility. Look, I would oh, like, yeah. look, it's 70, 70 look, 77. Now, this is egg yolks. Benny, I need 50 grams of just a whole egg. 50, what do you mean 50 grams of a whole egg? It's about egg? an egg because an egg weighs about 50 grams. So you need an entire egg? Yes. But All you have of to it? Weigh it? Yes. I have to weigh, weigh it? it? Of course. That's why I'm never going to become a pastry chef. <laughs> never. Para. Aspetta. And what if it's more? Bye. Oh, what you if it's some, not? You can get some egg white there. So an entire egg. It's 58 grams. How are we going to solve this problem? It's okay, Benny. You, you can beat it, but well, it's fine. I mean, don't be too picky. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now. So this has to become nice and smooth. We were doing the butter and the icing sugar. Let me get a spatula. You clean, you make sure. Mix as well. Okay, a little bit more. Perfect. Now? Now you gradually put the eggs, about one at a time. So, low? Can you please use, get the, the seeds out of half? A vanilla pod, please, Benny? Only half? Yes. Okay. As we do this. So usually you, you do one egg at the time, so it completely absorbs. And the entire egg. 
Then we'll add the seeds of the vanilla. Now that, now that I learn how to do it, I, I, can, I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> we'll have to get glasses. Okay. No, 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 I got it, I got it. I'm gonna it. scrape it all out. Yes. You see how it's starting to form? Okay, so we did the I'm gonna put it in here. Egg yolks. A pinch of salt. In here? Yes. Aspetta, guarda quanto ce n'è. Wait, I'm not finished. Ah. These are full. A pinch of salt, because you know what? The salt takes helps to you take out the sweetness in 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 pastry it need, it's to enhance that's the word salt enhances the sweetness when you do pastry did you know that well can i say that i did because i know that salt improves the flavor half, of chocolate uh, you ben, said half oh maybe it's not but you did half okay ben we're almost done now we're gonna be putting the flour. This is, we've got all the ingredients. This is for the last part. You're gonna be doing, oh wait, wait. I like to scrape it off first because you see the edges around the bowl are stuck with butter. So it's always nice to just stop. You can see all the little black polka dots from the vanilla. Mm -mm, yeah. You can use, I like to use vanilla, but you can also find these um, pastry uh, crusts with lemon zest. Yes, it I like lemon zest. Too. I prefer vanilla. Okay, now comes the final part. You're gonna you're gonna be putting one fourth of the flour in here. Wait until it absorbs. You see? It's pretty fast. And and now you pour all the rest all at once. She made a mess. And how much does it have to go for? Just for about a minute. You see now it's starting to form? Yes. Okay. You don't want to over mix. So here's the theory behind when, you, when you're doing pastry dough. If you're going to be using immediately the dough and you are not going to need it anymore, then you mix it properly. You make sure that all the ingredients are well mixed. Since we will be, have, will we be needing it after because we have to do the shape of the pie, Okay. You stop like at a 75% of the preparation because okay. you don't want to over knead it. Can you please get plastic wrap? Of course. Because now it has to rest in the fridge for about two hours. Always? Yeah. This, in Italian, this recipe, this, um, this crust is called pasta frolla and it's like the base for many, many different kind of pies and tarts. And also cookies, right? You can, you just can make also make, exactly. But there's something that I always do Always, and I know you're not supposed to, but it's the best part of cooking. Okay, just one last mix, because the mixer not always, doesn't always get all the ingredients. So you don't mash, you don't, you just put it and wrap it up. Yeah, so when you have, when you leave like a dough to rest, you don't want it, you're not gonna form a ball, because it's gonna be very, I mean, it's gonna be uneven. You wanna do like a little log, like a rectangle, because we're gonna be using a rolling pin. So since this is gonna get hard, it's gonna be hard when it gets out of the fridge, you want to make sure that you have like this, this log in this rectangle. You see, because now it's all sticky and- And gooey, yeah. And gooey, because of the butter. Of course, which I did taste. Okay, and that's it. Basta. Now it goes in the fridge, we wrap it. I'm gonna wait for two hours. In the meantime, would you like me to clean? Yes, Benny, please. You see? It's nice and hard. <laughs> Kill somebody if you wash <laughs> this. Yeah. And you, you expect to work this? Yes. Okay, I wanna see that. And it softens immediately because of the butter. Okay. So if you're not gonna be using it all, put it back in the fridge and you, you just use the part that you need. Benny, we're gonna be making two Can you freeze it? Yes, you can freeze it. So you can do like a, a big amount, you can double the size, you cut it in, in different portions and you freeze it. Here. Tell me, what would you would like we me all, to do? We each get... I get my own tart? Yes, you get to make your little own tart. <laughs> Children. Okay, tell me what I need to do. Flour. When you mm. do flour, you just do it far away. You don't mm, put it. It's so good. Okay. You can taste the vanilla. Yeah. Wow. And you get a rolling pin, Benny. Okay. Okay. 
and you start rolling it. <laughs> you see? Slowly, slowly. You start doing it into a round shape. Again, pastry is not my thing. <laughs> Wine. Yeah, I want like wine. It's there in the glass and you drink it. If it breaks, it doesn't matter because just imagine this is like sort of Play Doh. What you want to do. But I need more Benny, flour. Yes. You may have to make sure exactly. You always have flour at the top. If not, you get like this perfect, nice, smooth shape and it doesn't stick off the table. <laughs> I guess you say that from experience. Yes, I do say that from experience. At home, I have like a silicone mat that I use. And um, it's also very useful when you have to roll out. You can do it, I mean, the thickness is pretty much up to you, not too thin. I like, I like when I bite a, a, a crostata, I like to feel the dough yeah. at the bottom. No, my daughter too, she doesn't like it to be too, too thin. I per personally prefer it thin, sort of like pizza. Gosh, I'm thinking of all the kinds of things you can make with this. Oh, you can make even like the tiny, tiny little ones. Remember? Right. Also, with, if you have... Um, Is this too much flour? Yes. Crema pasticcera, custard. Oh, yeah, we did that. Yes. And I have to... Uh, I, I did it again at home. You did? Yes. Good. But I didn't put it in anything. I just put it in a bowl and I ate it as like dessert. <laughs> when you roll it out, Benny, you want it to be like even. Okay, okay? so then this is way out of... But it's looks mine looks sort of like I'm trying to think of which country it looks like. A <laughs> country. Okay. And once in a while you like unstick it from the table. You wanna make sure. Don't we use those things that we have like for when we make You want one? Yes. I don't know what they're called. Spatulas maybe? Maybe. Exercise. I'm almost done, because you have to feel the thickness with your hands. Mine cracked here. It's okay. It's like Play-Doh, Benny. You it is like Play-Doh. Stick it back together and nothing is, is gonna happen. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> you take up so much space. Okay, I think mine is like... I think mine is perfect too. What do you think? Is it too thin? Well, I would use this part here, but it's... Look, I'll show you what you have to do, Benny. Okay, I'm done. Let me get a knife. Wait, let me patchwork here. This is one of those that you can separate. It, it, it's best because it's easy when it's done, but it's okay if you don't have the ones with a removable base. And look, Benny, what you do. Look. I bet you're just gonna embarrass me. Go, no. but I don't get embarrassed easily. Okay. Look, you just place it in here. And slowly, you make sure that it goes in. You can remove the excess. Okay. We're gonna be reusing those because we're gonna be putting decorations. But then once you did this, Benny, look. You wanna remove all the excess, you see? You oh, the artichoke fell. <laughs> you see? Look. Okay. You do this and you just cut it. I can do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna decorate mine with stripes. Can I use one of these? Yes. Okay, wait. You see? It's breaking. And you see how it just comes out like that? So you just press it down the edges a little, make sure that it's nice. It's stuck to the edges. This is actually, well, it's let's. Tell me, it's, you said it's actually relaxing. Yeah. It's actually, it, it is. is. No, it's gratifying, like you're creating something. And I've never... I'm gonna get some spoons. ...done something so professional. So you've got... If you think, you know, you cut too much, it's okay. It's, if this is... Once everything's ready, you're not gonna notice. So you can, like, stick back a little piece in case. And the jam. This is just plain apricot jam. Look! And I'm gonna put... Brava! And I'm gonna put... Yeah. Oh, you don't put coals on it? No. So that's a legend? No. But this, I mean, according to the, this recipe I learned when I did pastry school. So it's one of the, and I, I use this a lot. And you just, you know, fill it 
I don't like it too, too filled because it becomes too sweet. So I'm going to stop like this. Put till the edges. Ah, okay. You see? Now I'm going to put stripes on it. You can do the holes. So I'm going to, you can get like, um, where's that little rolling thing here? So I, I flattened it a bit. And then like with a pizza cutter, you can just cut stripes. Okay, is this enough? I would put a little bit more. You see? And you cut stripes. Look, Benny, you, you put them down and then you just push it with your fingers. Okay. That's cool. Do my polka dots. And three. Look, like these three are nice. Three different sizes. Here. Yeah, beautiful. And you do like, usually they have like a, a crisscross. You can make flowers. <laughs> you can make flowers. You can take Butterflies. It. <laughs> There's so many. I've seen so many. And you, you, you see that the more you wait, the more this becomes like super it's soft. It's super soft. I know. Do I just like put it wherever I want? It's nice if you like decentralize it. And gradually. The three different. Just. See. Okay. The oven just turned. Okay. Now. One, two, two. And. Do you like it? Bravissima. Now, look. This is a crisscross one. You can get creative with the decorations. Oops, there's. Let's put it in the oven. It's gonna sit, it's, it's gonna be at about, it's 160 degrees Celsius. 320 Fahrenheit. Of course, I was about, just about to say that. For about 45 minutes, or just, you know, it has to it has to get golden. So let's put it in. Here. And we wait. I think we should make cookies yeah. with all this leftover dough. But let's, you know, let's put all the pieces back together yeah. and put it in the fridge. No, really, it's super soft, look. I wish I could send the aroma of the room inside the camera and out of the computer screen or whatever you're watching us from because it's just... It smells like home. It's, it smells it's, like it's a cozy home. thing. Yeah, let yes. me go get... Let me I go think get it's the... ready. It smells like home. Okay, look at that. Yours is pretty. Thank you, but yours is pretty too. No, mine is prettier. Prettier. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at that. Aren't they cute? They're so pretty. I'm so I'm very proud because I never ever make and, this. Let's each get our own. There you go. Looks like a looks like a no, snowman. Look. Now, you see how easy? If you have these, let me see if I don't make a mess. Careful, it's hot. You see? Wait. I'll burn myself a little, ouch. There you go, you see? Look. You see? And this is a crostata. We'll be sharing the recipe in the description below. And remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet, and click on the little bell because you'll be notified every time we come out with a new recipe. You wanna taste? Of course I wanna taste it. Let's ruin yours. I'm gonna take this home to my daughter, show her how proud. <laughs> Look, you see I like it with a little bit of thickness below and not too... How pretty. Mm -hmm. We did such a good job. I know, it's I know. Perfect. It's easy, you know? I know, it, it is easy. Proof, and if you mess up, it doesn't matter because you can put pieces together. Well, I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow.